I don't know if you all remember when I started to do the biomass briquette press a while back. I did a video on how to make a biomass briquette press using a caulk gun and some PVC pipe. I will come back to that later. But while I was at my parents' house in Michigan, my dad gave me some shredded paper. See, I'm in the middle of the forest, so I don't have a paper shredder. Um, I, I didn't. He also gave me a paper shredder that he wasn't using, by the way. So now... Um, I have this big bag of paper that he was going to burn. And I'm just going to fill this bucket up here. See, this is perfect for survival for people who live in the city who do not have access to a good source of firewood and uh, burning material for heat in a survival situation when you are desperate for heat if the grid fails um, hurricane which we had two of here a lot of people were without power and heat in winter for a very extended period of time you have a grid down situation and you don't have a supply of heat this could save your life now what I'm doing is putting a bunch of this shredded paper in this bucket alright that's good for now let me go get some water. Now I've got some water and what I want to do is pour enough water in here to make a thick slush. Look at that paper condense when I do that. It really compresses when water hits it. I want to make a thick slush here of paper. Alright, I'm going to add probably a little bit more water. That's going to absorb a lot. Alright. Nice slush going on here. Now, this is going to be a couple days long project. So, I'm just going to mix this up a little bit and I'm going to leave this. I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. It looks like it's going to take some more. Now you're supposed to let this soak for three to five days and stir it as you go. And what you're going to get is a thick sludge. It's The paper is going to lose its solidity and it's going to become just this big sludge inside there. I believe you will no longer see any um, individual paper fibers. It will just be this thick sludge. So I'm going to um, continue stirring this for the next couple days and let it soak. This is day two, making biomass. And it's all turned into a thick mush now. It's what you want to do is just keep stirring this up from time to time. And eventually the paper will sort of deteriorate a little bit. And at that point then you know you can start to form your briquettes. So I'll let that sit for another day and come back and stir it again. The water's getting a gray color now. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Well, this is the fifth day, and I've been stirring this continuously. You can see it's becoming a sort of a sludge. becoming a thick pasty mix here and that's what you want to see if it was warmer weather this would uh, break down a lot better and a lot faster and it might actually give off a rotting smell which is perfectly fine you want the materials to break down here nicely for you When 
you compress it, it binds itself together nicely. That's about finished. In a while I'll be pressing this and making uh, briquettes. Well, this is a moment you've all been waiting for. I started this project a long time ago, but other things got in my way. I'm going to make biomass briquettes. This has been uh, sitting in the bucket, being stirred up for about a week, and uh, it's ready to go. So, first you take a washer, put it in the end there, take some of your goop, stuff it in. What you want to do is fill this tube about halfway with paper mass. I don't want to do it over the bucket though, so all the water drips back into the bucket. I can recycle that. I'm off the grid in the middle of the forest and everything has value including especially water I should say so fill that thing up when you get it about halfway full you can put another washer in there and that'll be a spacer between two briquettes So fill that up nicely. Got some guests coming over, so uh, I have to hurry up real quick here. All right, now you put the last washer on, and then to keep this from expanding too far, slip on your hose clamps, just there to cover that, so that this doesn't press outwards on you. Now slip your whole device into the cop gun and simply start squeezing. Again, I'm going to do this over the bucket and all the water starts coming out. Now you just want to press this nice and tight. See that's expanding. Those hose clamps are holding that from pressing out too far. Do it nice and easy. If you go too fast, you'll start squirting the paper mass out. Just nice and easy. Compress those briquettes. It's already up to here. So this whole tube was full and it's already compressed up to here. It's getting pretty tight now. Now I'm not putting too much pressure here because I don't want to destroy anything. Let the water drip out. Then you can release your cock gun. And slip it out. And now you've got a nicely compressed briquette. Now I'll have to get a screwdriver and undo these, and I'll show you the briquettes in a minute. So I got my screwdriver here. I just have to loosen these a couple turns so I can get them off. In retrospect it might be better to put them in the same direction so I don't have to move them as much. Alright, now there's one brick. Washers you set aside for the next brick. And I have a bit of a smaller one in here. Might we need a screwdriver to push that out. And there's another briquette. Little one. But uh, these are very dense. And once they're dried, they're going to be a solid burning mass. You could use these for uh, in a charcoal grill, in a rocket stove, in a biomass oven. Um, if you live in the city and uh, you don't have access to firewood in an emergency situation, this could save your life. You could heat and cook with this stuff. So now I have to set this out in the sun 
and uh, let it dry and harden for a week or two. And these are going to be some very long and hot burning little uh, sources of fuel. Which, by the way, I now have a biomass uh, cook stove which I will be using this in in the future and demonstrate that. So, this simple little thing could save your life. And uh, if the economy breaks down, um, we had Hurricane Sandy went through New York just recently and um, people were without they were without heat in winter and I bet a lot of people wish they had this knowledge because paper is in abundance in the city and there you have it that could save your life I've got a few of my biomass briquettes here and actually um, I did these Friday morning this is Monday so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days. They're dry, they're cured. These are ready to burn. So, um, I left them out actually. They had dew on them at night. And um, sunlight, well, semi-sunny. It was mostly cloudy all weekend. So to give you an idea, I think just a couple good sunny days and you could have some, some fuel to burn. Now these are small, you can make biomass briquettes in different sizes, but for personal heating in a room or in a shelter, for emergency purposes, um, a couple briquettes like this will last you a while. And uh, you know, for heating, if you have a rocket stove or a biomass stove, this little bit of fuel will last you a little while. And of course, again, this is just a, a drop in a bucket literally speaking because I had a whole mass of um, shredded paper which I'll still be pressing into briquettes and hopefully I'll be taking some of these and experiment with my new biomass stove later on that'll be in a separate video but um, there they are they're done